evening. Thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 31st day of January 2024. I am Grace Dorcas Mika Chief for the major headlines. I'll make up to the MV of other Nigerian tertiary institutions. Governor OT vows. Inspector General please decorate 14 AIGs, 21 CPs, and redeploys newly promoted senior officers. National Identity Management Commission provides state with additional systems to improve operational efficacy. We take a marshes, we'll write back with the details and men must be connected. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermodel Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back. Now, the details. Address State Governor Dr. Alex Oti has vowed that his government will look into issues confronting the Address State University APSU. To, to resolve them and make the school the envy of all the tertiary institutions in the country. Governor Oti spoke on Tuesday when he met with the executives of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, APSU chapter, led by the Zona coordinator, ASU National Calabar Zone, Dr. Happiness Uduak. The union executives, according to a statement made available to ABN TV by the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Kazi Uko, said, they had come to thank the governor for taking interest in their welfare by paying their salaries and all the benefits promptly since he assumed office on May 29, 2023. But like Oliver Twist, they asked for more. The president of Vision Africa, Bishop Sunday Onoha, has urged students in Abia State to maintain sound morals that will take them far in life and stay away from drug premarital sex and examination malpractice. Bishop Ono has spoke while addressing secondary school students participating in the ongoing 13th edition of the Vision Africa Radio 104.1 FM school debate in Umahia, the state capital. The number of state government through the Ministry of Women and Social Welfare has apprehended a 38-year-old woman identified as Junior Chuku for attempting to sell her two sons. Chuku, who hails from Okija in the Hiala local government area of the state, was said to have connived with her 17 year old daughter, identified as Joy, to sell off her two sons due to the economic hardship in the country. Chuku, while being interrogated, explained that she had 11 kids and decided to sell two of them when she could not scatter for their welfare. The State Commissioner for Women and Social Welfare, Ifi Obinabo, led some security operatives to arrest the suspect late on Tuesday after posing as buyers for the children when information about the transactions got to the ministry. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajadin Abbas, has urged President Bola Hamid Tinubu to sack non-performing cabinet members. Abbas, who said these are the resumption of plenary on Tuesday, also advocated the adoption of new strategies to address the widespread insecurity ravage in the country. He said if not adequately addressed, the security situation could degenerate to threatening the stability of the nation. The speaker noted that the security situation in the country has remained unabated despite numerous measures being deployed to tackle it. The Inspector General of Police IGP Kayode Adeolu Agbetoko decorated 35 senior officers comprising 14 assistant inspector general of police and 21 commissioners of police with their new ranks on Tuesday at the Good Luck Jonathan International Peacekeeping Center. The newly decorated officers include AIGs Yetunde Longe, Haruna Gauba, Dajadin Akinwale Abbas, Julius Alawiri Okoro, George Chijoke Chuku and CPs Olariwaju Peter Ogunowo, Muhammad Dahiru, Dankubo Fali Morris, and David Oluyonomon, among others. 
The presidency yesterday lashed out at former Vice President Atiku Abubakar for implying that President Bola Tinibu is not working to resolve the economic and security challenges facing the country. In a statement yesterday in Abuja, Bala Special Advisor to the President on Information and Strategy, Mr. Bayo Onanuga. The presidency accused Abubakar of playing the ostrich and pretending not to see the around-the-clock effort President Tinibu has been making to enable the country achieve peace and prosperity. As part of our agenda to ensure efficient and seamless operation in the National Identity Management Commission, the Director General and Chief Executive Office of the Agency Engineer Aduso K. Koka has approved the distribution of additional enrollment systems to all the states as part of steps to ease new enrollment challenges and increase operational capacity. This was disclosed by the Commission in a statement signed by the Head Cooperative Communications, Kayode Adegoke, on Wednesday. A non-government organization has urged President Bola Hamed Tinubu to pay attention to issues of unemployment and general skills development for Nigerian youth. The group No Justice, No Peace Initiative, through its national coordinator, Derek Orisemato San Agberan, made a call in a statement sent to newsmen. He said that unemployment has become a major problem by the lives of Nigerian youths, causing increased militancy, violent crimes, kidnappings, restiveness, and social delinquent behaviors. Gunmen suspected to be bandits have reportedly adopted two teenagers Teenage sisters from Greater Community in Chikagoro local government in Kubabwari area council of the federal capital territory of city. The incident happened some days after the reported killing of a northern mother, Christiana Iba, and her mother, Maria Egbo, by kidnappers who had held them captive for two weeks in an undisclosed hideout, leaving behind a month old baby. It was gathered on Wednesday, January 31st, that the kidnappers returned last Sunday around 11.25 p.m. despite the patrol of military men and policemen in the area. On business, the Lagos State Government has earmarked 550.689 billion naira for the 2.267 trillion budget to develop, maintain, and complete ongoing infrastructure projects in 2024. The Commission of Economic Planning and Budget, or Pay Judge, stated this during the 2024 budget analysis at the Alausa Secretariat in Keja. With 550.689 billion naira represent 24.28% of the entire budget. While in sports, Super Eagles goalkeeper Stanley Umabali on Wednesday insisted that anything could happen to anybody amid the ongoing 2023 African Cup of Nations. The Chopper United shortstopper said this was why thanking everyone who checked up on him after he sustained a knee injury during Nigeria's Afghan run of 16 win over Cameroon. A few days ago. And that sports news brings us to the end of the news at 8. But before we go, we can buy major stories. I will make absolute the envy of all the Nigerian institutions. Governor OT Bows. Inspector General please decorate 14 AIGs. 21 CPs redeploys newly promoted senior officers. National Identity Management Commission provides states with additional systems to improve operational efficacy. These and many more you can find on our platforms log on to www.abntv.com.ng and you can also follow us on our social media platforms being displayed on the screen. I am Grace Dawkins Nikachi. I hope you're my interest this safe.